This video will cover the shell feature. The entire body of a solid model can be hollowed out or shelled as seen in this image. Shell is a global feature, so it affects all of the features above it in the Design Explorer. You will find the shell feature under the Part Modeling tab in the Geometry Transform group. Select the shell icon and the shell dialog opens. In the dialog box we have Standard Thickness. This is the wall thickness of the shell. The largest value that can be used must be smaller than the smallest feature that is going to be shelled. For example, here's a 4 inch by 2 inch rectangular solid part with half inch diameter feet on the bottom of it. In this case, we want the feet to be hollowed out. Using a value of 0.1 inch for the shell thickness works fine. If you right click on this shell in the Design Explorer and select Edit from the pop up menu, you can easily change the thickness value from 0.1 to 0.3 inches. This leaves the feet filled in because this value is too large for the foot features. Faces to remove. If a face is not selected, this command will shell the entire part, leaving it hollow, similar to a basketball. Shell outward. This feature allows you to add the shell material to the outside surface. Override. This option is used when a certain face or faces need to have a different thickness than the rest of the shell. Thickness. This is the wall thickness of the shell for those override faces. Keep in mind that if you have two shell features in a part, the second shell is going to shell the first shell, as shown here. The first shell has a thickness of 1.5 inches. The second shell, using the same face, has a thickness of 0.1 inch. The feet are hollowed out by the second shell, but we are left with a small rectangular feature suspended in midair. Here's a tip. Remember, a shell is a global feature, which means that it's going to affect other features that were created before it, on or in the same part. Previously created features are higher on the list in the Design Explorer than more recently created features. When shelling a part, you can move previously made features up or down in the Design Explorer to get the results you actually want. Here's how this works. Let's say we have a part with an extruded hole through it as seen here. If we perform a shelling operation on it, removing the bottom face of the part in the process, Everything, including the extruded hole, is included in the shell. To exclude the hole from the shell operation, click on the hole in the Design Explorer with the left mouse button. Keep the mouse button down and move the hole to a position below the shell and release the left mouse button. The hole now goes through the part as well as the shell. This video covered the shell feature. A shell feature is a hollowed out part. You learned how to Access the shell dialog, set the standard thickness, create material on the outward portion of a part with the shell outward function, and you learned how to use overrides to create thickness conditions for some features on a part that differ from the standard thickness setting. You also learned how to click and drag part features to place them in different positions in the Design Explorer to change the order of features to obtain different shell results.